time to meet an adoptable pet from the Humane Society of Washington County. It's the podcast on our Live 96.7 social streams, sponsored by Central Dogma, a healthy place for pets naturally. Here's Ryan Smetzer. Well, good morning, y'all, and welcome to another episode of the podcast. We are back with another amazing adoptable pet from the Humane Society of Washington County, all sponsored by our friends over there at Central Dogma, a healthy place for pets naturally in Hagerstown, and in Frederick. Gotta work on my, my screen pointing there. Anyhow, we've got an awesome adoptable pet today, an adorable cat by the name of Merlin. Good morning, guys, and good morning to Merlin, <laughs> who had the best face when we just popped him up on the screen. Like this was- He, was he like, sure did. Yeah. He was, he was just <laughs> shocked. Like, oh, we're live? <laughs> he was shocked and ready to jump on board. But I, I mean, yeah. tell us about Merlin, because again, what I mentioned before we went live is how just adorably tiny the little dude is yes he is petite so i didn't check until you mentioned it but he weighs less than six pounds and he's three years old so he's a little guy yeah and an absolute sweetheart too loving his toy he's yeah. hanging around um and and, and merlin <laughs> just kind of just a, a perfect personality for for any kind of household right yeah, and that's one of the good things about adopting an adult cat. Um, a lot of times kittens are cute, of course, but you don't really know their personality that well. And um, he's got a little bit of both. He's an adult cat. He's got that playful kitten personality. He's just a sweetheart. He's friendly to people and just an absolute goofball. Yeah, I was going to say, like, Merlin kind of acts the way that my cat Jack acted whenever he was, like, first oh, coming home gotta... from the Humane Society. So... Uh, like he's got that perfect playful kitten vibe to him. Yeah. And he's about the size of, you know, a small young cat. So, <laughs> and, and like we said before, like his, his teeth and his mouth are just the cutest thing in the world. Every time he like just <laughs> gapes it open to try to get the toy. It's just like, it's timeless. <laughs> yeah. You can see the little teeth. Oh, he almost fell out. Jesus Not very Christ. graceful, I would say. <laughs> But Which very playful and very sweet, and he'll definitely keep someone entertained. Yeah. Yeah. If you want a He's hilarious a cat that just has blooper reels nonstop, like <laughs> this is your Better cat than right here. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I love it. And or of course, TikTok. Yeah. Obviously, if somebody's interested in stopping to see Merlin and all of the other amazing cats, tell us how we can uh, get in to see Merlin and some of the awesome cats that are there at the Humane Society. Yes, um, just come out and we open today at one. He's here in the lobby and starting today, we haven't announced it yet on Facebook, but starting today, um, we have a spring into summer adoption event. So any animal that's been here 30 days or longer, you can adopt for the adoption fee of your choice. And that would include Merlin, which showing off his teeth again. So we'd love to get some of our long-term residents into homes and, uh, Hopefully that'll help. Oh, he's. Yeah. I was gonna he's say. He's a master of posing. Y'all need y'all need to hurry up because I'm falling in love with Merlin right here and how just absolutely <laughs> derpy he is as he's just flopping around everywhere right now as we speak. <laughs> yeah, and that was his empty food bowl that went flying. So. <laughs> Well, we're just glad there wasn't food in it because there'd be a vacuum yes. cleaner trip right there. Now, as far as kind of the, you know, Merlin's match, you know, you'd mentioned that obviously with adult cats that, you know, it's a little bit easier for them to kind of get adjusted to homes and things of that nature. Um, you know, uh, who would you recommend, of course, is kind of that perfect kind of match for Merlin? Can he be around other cats? Like, what's his kind of situation there? Um, So he was a stray, so we don't really know um, how he does with other cats. We do know that the cat below him hates dogs, um, <laughs> but he hasn't seemed to have that reaction. So we would recommend slow introductions. I think he'd be great for anyone that wants an active, playful cat. If you're looking for just a lap cat, maybe not him. But yeah, if you want someone that, that'll play with you and just provide lots of goofy little antics, he's your guy. There you go. We play, play cats eventually come, become good cuddly lap cats at some point in time. They just yeah. have to have their their playful era, basically, is what I is how I explain yes. it. So. <laughs> yes. I'm sure he'll tire himself out eventually. Of course, yeah. <laughs> and now you guys are also a little less than two weeks away from a massive event yes. that you put on every single year to kick off the summer season and raise money 
for the organization. That is Lou Howell. Tell us a little bit about the event and uh, how people can still get involved with just a little under two weeks to go. Yeah, so Lou Howell will be held June 8th from 5 to 9 uh, at the historic Milestone Farm in Williamsport. It's the Bowman's residence. Um, it's a great event that we do every year to raise money for our spay and neuter programs. Tickets are $50 in advance, 60 at the door. And you really get a lot for that $50. We have an open bar, we have live music, we have silent auctions and raffles and food from bulls and boars. And it's just a lot of good time. Great occasion to wear your Hawaiian shirts, as I've said before. Um, and it's just a really great night to meet other animal lovers and support a good cause. So, yeah, And absolutely. we honor our volunteer of the year. So that's Ooh. a big deal. Okay, I love it. And it all it all goes back to just help such an incredible part of your organization as well. Um, and, you know, it gives everybody a great excuse to wear that that awesome Hawaiian print shirt at the same time. So, <laughs> yes, we all need an event to wear that, too. <laughs> yeah, I love it. And how can people get uh, tickets or get signed up to, to be a part of that? Super easy. Just go to our website and it's on our homepage. You'll see a an image about Lou Howe, you can click it to go buy tickets. If you're not able to attend or if you want to donate in a different way, check out our Facebook. We're running um, virtual raffles every three days leading up to the event. And right now, our current raffle is four tickets to Big Cork Vineyards, a uh, big end of summer event held in August. And it's got some other prizes to go along with it, like um, two love seat camping chairs, an outdoor blanket, an Arctic cooler and some wine. So definitely check out that. It's just $5 to and supporting our spay and neuter programs. Amazing. Awesome. I, I'm super, it's going to be, it's going to be a spectacular event. And again, you know, I think Merlin's also excited as he is just uh, getting into full snuggle and play mode this is that fun moment yes. and my cats do this where they're like they rub up on you while also batting at you at the same time and you don't know <laughs> what their deal is but um he's adorable merlin i can't wait yes. for you to find a home like five minutes after this airs because my goodness <laughs> you have got just the perfect energy and i love it and and this yes. is fantastic <laughs> he's purring he's happy and he would look great in a hawaiian shirt i might add I mean, yes. he would go with anything with his color but those eyes come on <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 1000%. Well, awesome. Thank you so much, guys. And thank you to Merlin thank and hope you. you get snatched up super soon. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> and if you want to check out Merlin or any of the other amazing adoptable pets from the Humane Society of Washington County, just head on over to hswcmd.org. And again, you could watch all of the latest episodes of the podcast over at live967.com. Thanks again for watching another episode of the podcast. Have a great week. We'll catch you again next Wednesday.